going on everyone welcome back in today's quick sensor tutorial i'll be showing you how to quickly set up the bmp 280 temperature and atmospheric pressure sensor to start getting values in MicroPython using the raspberry pi pico w all in a matter of just a few steps so enough being said let's get started okay so first things first we want to initiate a physical connection between the bmp 280 and the raspberry pi pico w so make sure both devices are soldered that is the pico w and the bmp 280 you want to solder headers onto them you can also buy them pre-soldered we sell the bmp 280 pre-soldered at shillitech if you are are interested if not you can just go ahead and solder some regular 2.54 millimeter pin headers to the devices yourself and do this so be sure to also have a set of jumper wires also even better you can connect these devices to a breadboard to remain organized and do the connection there yourself and so once you have those four connections be sure as well not to mix up the vcc and the ground connection on the device because that can lead to issues in circuitry and other than that make sure that you have the scl and sda pins configured correctly or you'll have issues in i squared c communication and once we have that let's jump into the code setup and see what we have to do there in micropython okay so now now that we have our physical connection, we can just go ahead and open our MicroPython editor. Today I'll be using Thani, which is probably the most popular editor for editing MicroPython code on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So you can see I am actually just connected here, so make sure your device is plugged in and you have MicroPython installed on the board. We're not going to go into detail about getting MicroPython set up in Thani. It should be a pretty standard tutorial for many beginners to find online. So once we have that and we're connected, we can just go ahead and copy this code that I have here into a Python file. So you can just go ahead and copy line by line. Very simple code. And pretty much what we're doing in this code is we are connecting to the BMP280 object using this BMP280 library. So in order to find this BMP280 library, we can just go to a Google search and we can search Pico BMP280 and it's by this person right here, F-L-R-R-T-H. And so once we're on that GitHub page, we can just go ahead and go to code. We can download the zip and we can go to where it downloads on our computer. So in my case, in the downloads, we can see that it unzipped. And now that we have it unzipped, we can just go back to Thani and we can just go to where it was unzipped to. So we can just go to downloads here on the left. So I'm just going to the files on my local computer. We can just go here. And then we could see that we have this BMP280 folder. So this is the one we want to import onto our device because this contains the library code. So if you haven't already, be sure to create a lib folder because that's where you store your libraries on the Raspberry Pi Pico. So if you want to create a folder, you can just go ahead and click new directory and call it lib. I already have a lib folder because I've worked on this device before. So go into your lib folder on the Raspberry Pi Pico. And you can see I already have the library uh, imported from my local computer. So if you want to import it from your local computer in Thani, you could just go ahead and select it there. You can click these three lines on top of each other and click upload to lib and that will upload it to your, so I'm gonna overwrite it, it's the same thing, just to show you how it works. And so we imported the library and we could just go back to our main directory on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. And everything else here is standard imports, machine, new time, those are all standard imports. Machine just to create an I squared C communication object. New time just to manage time between intervals of measuring. So we're gonna wait one second between every measurement here. So sleep one. And other than that, we are just creating an I squared C communication object with the SCL and SCL pins. So if you have those same pins that I showed you in the first step, you should be good to go here. You do not have to change any code. And then we create the object here. So that should also be the same. And then also down here, we have the BMP280 I squared C object, which we're passing in the I squared C object. So this is where we use the library to instantiate a BMP280 object that we can start reading values from. And finally, we just read values forever as long as this code is running by using a while loop. So we're saying while true. So while true is going to execute forever until we stop the program. We are just going to use that BMP280 I squared C object to get the measurements and print them on the screen in a user-friendly manner. So that's all we're going to do. So if you did everything correct, we should be able to go ahead and run this code. And there we go. And just to make sure your device is working, what you could do is you can actually uh, breathe onto the BMP280 to make sure it's measuring temperature correctly. So we could just go ahead and breathe on it for a sec. 
So we could see that it increased the temperature by a little bit if we just blow some air onto our device. And of course, pressure changes as well. If you just go down the stairs of your house or walk up a hill, you will see a difference on the pressure. So overall, a really neat device and really easy for beginners to do some awesome DIY projects.